All right, time to play some more Hitman 3. We are on to the second mission. Uh, hopefully the audio is going. Is it not? Okay, whatever. Let me just see if it, it's working right now. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? How are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlyle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlyle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlyle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlyle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlyle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house. Meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlyle keeps a case file on the constant. Information that may be helpful in his recapture. So don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Okay, cool. So we gotta take out the target. Let's see, let me read the briefing here. Mm-hmm. World War II. Alright. Okay, yep. Mm-hmm. Senior Providence partner. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Lots to read. Hopefully you're reading. If not, well, you can pause the video. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, yep, yep. Alright, cool. And we gotta find the case file. <clears throat> Alright, so... We can't do much with the planning since uh, this is uh, new. Uh, our first time playing it, I mean, the uh, the level. So no smuggled items. <clears throat> I can start with uh, something. What was this again? Uh, Non-lethal can be smuggled through frisk zones. That's good. <clears throat> All right. Hmm. Fiberwire classic. <laughs> All right. Well, um. Earphones. <laughs> yeah. I think that was from Hitman 2. Uh. I guess we might go with the. Classic fiberwire. All right. Yeah, let's go with the classic one. And we got our suits. Which uh, we'll just stick with the default. And we get to choose our starting pistol. <clears throat> I think uh, this one can be uh, concealed and uh, not detected in uh, Frisk. So it's also suppressed, which is pretty cool. Uh, well, a 
classic silver baller. Uh, White Trinity. Oh, this is from 2016. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is from 20, 2018, Hitman 2. Tranquilizer Pistol. Nomadic Poison Pistol. Mark 2. <laughs> With a little sticker. Uh, Alright, I need to pick something. Um... This is, uh, yeah, we'll go with the five millimeter. <clears throat> and we got ourselves some tools here. Let's see. Containers, melee, distractions. You know, we might need a lockpick. It's always good to bring a lockpick because maybe we might need it. Uh... What should I use? I have so many uh, items. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I think we might go with a lockpick. Flash phone? No. Lockpick Mark II <laughs> with a sticker. Okay, well, use the classic lockpick. All right, we'll use the classic lockpick. All right, cool. We are ready. And, uh, yeah. Let's just start this thing. Hmm. Yep. I don't know what to expect. Uh, I haven't watched any Hitman stuff, so I, I'm going to these levels blind. I should have been watching. Maybe I could uh, seem like I'm uh, more competent at playing the game, but... Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now. The target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Good luck indeed. Okay. Let's start this thing off. And let's go and do this. Oh, we got our uh, private eye right there. The private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. Whoa, oh, okay. Nope. Not good. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Okay. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carlisle has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. If you take his place, it may be an opportunity to get close to Madame Carlisle. Well, I need to figure out how to get across the stream first. Uh, no, don't detect me. All right, we'll just hide in the bushes for a bit. No one will suspect anything. Okay. He's moving up to the house. Okay, let me just, uh... Everything's just so strange. Preparing for Madam's funeral, and then she turns up alive. But then the awful business with her brother Zachary. And, and all this security. I've never seen a place guarded like this, and, and, and I dare say I don't like it at all. Ah, I need to get in. By the way, 
Now, I told Kate about those texts. What did she say? Well, I thought she'd be mad at me, but she just thanked me. Said she understood the position I was in. Uh, so, I we just had a really good talk about it. That's a bit excessive. Oh, what did I tell you? Considering the, the fact that I was no less than two weeks to get inside the house, honestly. You know what you're doing, sir. Don't worry about that. I guess I thought she was going to read into them and freak out. Say I must have done something to provoke her. Shit, man. Caroline really did a number on you. Okay, doesn't look like I am in trouble for now. Oh, he's coming this way. Ooh, I, I better hide. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Do, 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 do. Come on. Okay, go uh, drag. I need a drag. I need a drag. Ah, yes. Uh, G dump, G dump, dump the G, uh, X. Oh man, okay, <laughs> that was close. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution handled with absolute discretion. Results and discretion are my speciality. Very well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Fernsby, the butler. Madam Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Would you care for some refreshments? Or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? Uh, yeah. I prefer to get started. As you wish. If you'll follow me, sir. Now, I don't, I don't remember if there was a key to not walk as fast, because that's, uh... I feel obliged to point out the current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that a staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madam's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with them if they seem affected Sir. by the rather unusual situation. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madam Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. Before you inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. Okay, cool. A locked room murder mystery 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Hmm. Well, we got some kitchen knives. Uh, we'll holster that. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? In a minute, let me just look around to see if there's any other... Ooh, we got ourselves a guard out there. We can probably take his uniform. Uh, yeah, cool. And we've got a book. Uh, you know what? We won't pull that book just yet. That seems important. Anything else? We got a closet here. Can hide the body. Got a uh, yeah. We'll look at that in a minute. Computer. <clears throat> All right. Camera inventory. Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant. 
poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. Okay, I just wanted to sit down in the chair. Alright, what else we got in here? There's a book over there. I'll check that out in a minute. Let me check out the suicide note. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of hand writing. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. Okay, we've got ourselves a closet. That's right. Computer. <laughs> Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. And then there's the book right here, which uh, we will just uh, check out. A hidden door. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Hmm. A photocopy of the floor plan. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. All right, before we do that, though, uh, I still have one more clue that I'm missing. Nope, that's not it. Let's check outside. Got ourselves a guard. Ah, that's a lock. I need a crowbar. All right, well, let's see. What is this? Vault. Lean. I'm just going to lean. Sir. What's up? <laughs> All right, you just stay right there. Uh, hopefully there's nobody watching. I don't think there's anybody watching. Okay. Grab you. And then I'm going to drag your body into the closet. Because I might need your costume or your disguise. <laughs> You never know, you know, you never know. Okay, gonna dump. Okay, keep that there. <clears throat> Is there nothing else in here? Does. Let me check my intel here. Five out of six clues found. Huh. Yes. Six clues, baby. All right. Let's see. Uh, all right. Let's uh, holster this. <clears throat> Let me go inside this thing again. Oh, we can peep. Little peephole. Peepers peeping. <laughs> okay. All right, well. Oh, stop pacing, for God's sake, Emma. But why don't we get any kind of explanation? It's bloody rude, that's what it is. Making us come here to play funeral and then show up like nothing's the least bit strange. Don't get your knickers all twisted. I'm telling you, she's not fit to be in charge anymore. Okay, cool. Let me grab this newspaper. Could be a nice impromptu weapon. 
Got a chest right there we can use, a gramophone. Okay. I see. Oh, what is this? This is a um, dumbwaiter. Got a bust. I'm going to keep that. Holster that. This is for distraction, probably. Yes, it is. Okay. This is a bathroom. Open. Open. Bathroom. Anything in here? We got a closet. We've got ourselves a barber razor. Okay, I'll keep that one. Collect as many weapons as possible. <laughs> you never know when you might need them. All right. Let's see. There's a window there I can use. Whoops. Made. Door needs to be unlocked. I get this newspaper just in case. Another window for escape if I need it. This is a door to somewhere. Whoa. All right, buddy. <laughs> I didn't mean to get in your way. Can I go out to the balcony? I can. Okay. What is this? This is a brick. Yes. Another weapon. Always be prepared, you know? Library. This is the library. Anything in here that I can use? Oh, uh, just remembered I went for a stroll behind the greenhouse last night. Maybe that's where it is. What is? My lost button. The one you couldn't find in the graveyard. Would it be a good idea for you to go and look for it? Now? A good idea. Yes. A lost button. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Letter opener. Nobody's watching. Grab it. Hide it. Can I do anything for you? Uh, yes, actually. Could you speed up time so I don't die from boredom? I fear I may not survive an entire weekend in this shit hole. Perhaps a brisk walk in the garden would do you good. I said speed up time, not my party. I'll just go away. Of course, sir. I'll come back later. Okay, what else? What is what else is uh here I can use? Anything here? Nothing? We got another uh little area here. Any uh ooh, we got a pipe. We can climb. That's pretty cool. Got ourselves a pipe. That's it. That's all. The pipe. <laughs> Just a pipe. Wait a minute. Nope. Another bust we're going to steal because Hitman Agent 47 is also a kleptomaniac. He will take anything that is not nailed down. Small office. Did you check his travel documents? Everything's in order. Okay. Closet. Check. Open window. Check. A uh, chest. Check. What is this? Feather duster? I'll pick this up. <laughs> I'll steal that one too. A bathroom, another closet, some faucets. All right. If I need to, I could probably take this guy's disguise. If I need to. Lyndon is a bodyguard. Nothing here. Wait, what was that? I saw something moving. Oh no. Uh, that was just a statue. I thought it was moving. I don't think I can go through here. Greetings, sir. Oh wait, no, I can. Yeah, that's right. Alright, we've uh, taken a look at everything. Let's uh, see if we can go over here. This is the library, right? No, this is not the library. This is the dining room. Uh, thingy. I don't know. <laughs> I need to go downstairs. That's what I need to do. So let's go downstairs and talk to the butler.
But first, vacuum chest. Okay, cool, cool. I don't think we can go there yet. But let's talk to the butler. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case. And I will take you to Madame Carlyle. Oh, okay. This is very useful information, 47. Is it? Okay, yeah, okay. All right, all right. I, I see what we're trying to get here. Just a list of suspects, right? Uh, we already questioned the uh, butler. Cool. So how does one solve a murder mystery, 47? Motive means an opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps you prefer searching the manor for clues first? Well, we'll do both. Oh, that's mansion staff. Okay. Well, I don't think I should conclude the investigation just yet. Just doing my rounds. Right. God, I hate this place. I totally Fireplace get poker. Such a weirdo. I'm losing it, and I only arrived yesterday. He didn't leave Thornbridge for 50 years. I'd prefer it if you didn't speak ill of the dead, Mr. Patrick. Yeah, well, if there's nothing good to say, then you should hold your tongue. Let me grab this newspaper, though. No, <laughs> these people are just watching me. Okay. Uh, I want these people to leave so I can pick up these things, but uh, that's okay. You know what? We don't need to worry so about. So, how long have you been working here? About a month now. You're American. What on earth are you doing in this shithole? A girl like you belongs in clubs in London. I bet you're a great dancer. I don't like dancing. What about restaurants then? You like food? I know some great places. You should come visit. I'll take you somewhere really nice. It's been a few bucks. A girl like you. I don't know. Okay. That's a question, uh. Really busy. If I grab this thing, will they. Relax, man. I said I'd get your money. Uh, how do I drop this? How do I drop this? Jesus. I forgot how to drop it. Hold on. I need to drop it. Uh, mouse keyboard, key bindings. Drop, drop, drop. Drop, drop, item Z. Okay. How's that my fault? D calm the fuck down, Ant. You know I'm good for it. I'm Carlisle are made of money. Just lean back and enjoy the interest. Meanwhile, go and have some drinks on me. No, Christ, I'm gonna hang up. Let's talk when you calm the fuck down. Okay, you know what? Let's go talk to this guy first. Patrick Carlisle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? It's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. Elaine, give us some privacy, would you? Don't tell Mother, okay? She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie, uh, for an evening 
stroll. I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. If that's all, I think I'll get back to my slow death by boredom. Okay, cool. All right, we question him. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't see anything else. And I don't know if I should use my camera on... Wait, hold on. <laughs> Turn off that filter. Ugh. All right. Well, there's a window I can climb out of if uh, things go sour. Yeah, uh, I don't see anything else in here. Okay, cool. Moving on. Let's uh, explore the rest of this mansion. This huge mansion. I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh, wait. Hold on. What is this? Soap. I need soap. Soap is useful. How? I don't know, but <laughs> it's probably useful. Token to Madame Carlyle's daughter. Rebecca? Yes. She's insistent, that one. She kept asking all kinds of questions. Who had the other one? Why I gave it to her, that sort of thing. You did make sure she didn't see you give the other one to the butler. Oh, of course. Tokens. Ah, okay. We need to find those tokens. I think he said that it was in the garden, right? I'm trying to remember. Poison. Mission, uh, missing. Poison. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Hey, it's a gun. It's a gun. I don't think I need it, but... Uh, sure, why not? Just, uh, that's a good location right there. I'll remember that. Uh, nothing else here. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. We need to see what else is here. Gramophone, check. We have a witness, or a uh, suspect, sorry, witness. All right. Trophy room. We have lots and lots of items here. I'll pick this up. I will hide this because I might need it. Ah, a paddle. Okay. Um, She left, right? Oh. Is she still in here? Oh, she's still in here. You know what? Let's go ask her. I bet Mother spent the last week at her Cypress estate. Am I right? I'm not at liberty to say, ma'am. Oh, come on. I need to know what's going on. This affects me too, you know. Can I... Rebecca Carla. Can you tell me about yesterday evening? We don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not like we sit on each other's laps. Now, let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a quarter to nine. I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. I had a conference call with my New York office at nine, so I spent three hours on my laptop in my room and went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. She did act a bit strange. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, cancel. You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived during breakfast. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? I do have a lot to see. Tell me about Zachary. Did he act strange last night? You know, now you mention it, he was a lot more chatty than usual. 
He wanted to know about my connections in the publishing business. Apparently, a friend of his is writing a book, which strikes me as very peculiar. I didn't think he had any friends. Anything else you feel like mentioning? I may be wrong. Okay. But I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. It's probably nothing. Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Hmm. Zachary's room. Okay. No. That's it. Goodbye. <laughs> Leave. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, what else is in here? We've got ourselves a... All right. Just uh, checking. Let's see. There's a bird cage over here. I think this could be a uh, distraction. All right. Yeah. Okay. He says he got it notarized the very same day. Right, listen. You go to their office and ask for Cheryl. She's the best they've got. Tell her you want to see the records. And don't take no for an answer. And call me as soon as you've got them. Thanks, Phil. We'll get to the bottom of this. Okay, cool. Yeah, great, great. All right, we'll move on. This is a little uh, patio area, whatever. Cool. Got it. Moving on, moving on. Who is this? Oh. Emmer Carlisle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. I need to account for everyone. Well, I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around eight o'clock. Anything else you want to know? How did you feel about Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. How do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? In my opinion, Alexa bears some responsibility for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him live here. Is that all? Have you noticed anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing special comes to mind. Except, perhaps, I did get a feeling that Zachary was depressed, not just sad. I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one, letting him believe she was dead. Then again, guilt isn't her strong suit. Cool, cool, cool. All right. All right. That's that's cool. Let's talk to this guy. Gregory Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, you're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and the wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> Uh, the, the short of it, Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Is that all? Tell me about Zachary. Zach? Huh. Such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle. But who could blame him? The only company he had was his rare plants and mother, who travels more than she stays here. Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger ball. He's better off dead. Anything else you want? Anything else you'd like to tell me? Nothing, really. I'm just enjoying the show. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. You know, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. Okay. All right, we questioned everybody except for Edward. 
And he's dead, obviously, but, uh... Hmm. <clears throat> okay, cool. Nothing else in here. Uh, oh, what is this? It's a bell. It's a dinner bell. Okay. Well, we aren't having dinner yet. How are you? Oh, we don't have poison. 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 Bodyguard. Has a staff. Okay. That's a fireplace poker. What is that? That is... Cigar box. I will keep that. <laughs> That's mine. Alright. Um, wait a minute. There are photo icons. Oh, hold on. Just a second. Oh. That's a painting. Okay, so these are photo icons. Okay, hold on. Nope, that's not it. It's over here. That's not it. That is not it. I think it's outside. I think I might have to go outside for this one. Hold on just a second. Nope. Is it outside or inside? Or it might be... No? Hmm. Alright, well, whatever. We'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. Let's not just, uh... Not spend too much time on this. It's a pretty big thing for Mother to fake her own death. Was it a security measure? Paperwork. Ah. Everything I hear is confidential. So you do know what's going on. Yeah, there's something here I can take a photo of, but, uh... <laughs> that plant just appears. Uh, it might be outside? I don't think it's outside. It can't be. Aha! Uh -huh. Footprints. Okay, cool. I solved that little mystery. All right, let's uh, continue to search. A dining room. What is this? This is an apricot. Whoop, <laughs> I didn't do that. That's not me. Quite the poet. But you're right. It's beautiful. Ah, this is one of the witnesses. Okay. He's currently busy, so I can't do anything about that. Let's, uh... Poison. Here we got another bust. We'll take that. I think he's done. Is he? No, he's not done. Oh, he's done. Okay, cool. 
Professor Edward Carlyle, can you tell me your whereabouts for last night? Oh, yes, this dreadful business with Zachary. I stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He would never admit it, but I think he understands that I find this whole thing upsetting and wanted to provide some comfort. I believe we went to the stag's head around half past eight. If that's all? Can you tell me about Zachary's behavior last night? I certainly didn't expect him to commit suicide. Sure, he was upset by mother's supposed death. We were. But he seemed more engaged than usual. You should ask Rebecca, they had a long talk. Did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? His plants, mother, and the staff, all the company he had. Anything else I could... Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? You mean apart from the fact that we came here to bury our mother and she shows up alive and kicking? Zachary found dead in his bed this morning? Or perhaps that the planned funeral is still taking place and I have to do the eulogy? And mother will surely have strong opinion on it afterwards. Excuse me. Okay. Alibi confirmed. Oh no. Don't tell me. If this disconnects, I'm in trouble. <laughs> then I just wasted 46 minutes of my time. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, live service, everybody. All right, so, so these two are potentially not the killers, I guess, because uh, they were out. All right, well, let me just uh, check in this room here for anything else. Fireplace poker. There is a photo opportunity here. I need to grab my camera. Not supposed to leave you messages, and this is the last time. I've what do I need to? It's just uh, I don't know how to handle this whole situation. Uh, okay, and writing does not match Zachary's note. My eyes are not working properly. Hey, we've got ourselves an apple here. Stick that in my pocket. <laughs> 47's deep pockets. Okay, we got a kitchen. We got ourselves another apricot. I'll just uh, take that because that's. Uh... That ain't a woman. It's a tad too big for my taste. Tell me. She turned up and demanded to be put up in Madame Carlyle's bedroom. We're the new heads of the family after all. It is only fitting. Oh, meat cleaver. Did when she arrived. What is it? Elaine says she's okay, you know what? on the top floor, stroking the door to the left of the office. I kid you not. She can't wait to get her hands on Thornbridge Manor. So 41 guests will attend the funeral tomorrow. There's still a lot to see to, but we're in good time, I think. I'm getting a headache from all the decisions. I mean, pram or stroller, comforter or not. Should I ask her to marry me? What if she says no? And then this big funeral thing tomorrow? Last thing I need. Amy is a great lass. You love her, she loves you. And now are we one on the way? I'd say you're one lucky bastard. 
Okay, I gotta ask this maid. Rosie, tell me what you did last night. I'm in trouble, aren't I? I... I spent the evening with Patrick. We met after dinner and I went home at one in the morning. He said he needed someone real to talk to. When he looks at you, it makes you feel like the center of the universe. Like a real princess. But now he just ignores her. Well, he's under a lot of pressure. He's... Well, okay, so since his alibi is confirmed, he's not the murderer. It leaves three suspects. Idiot. That's what he is. Oh, that's a saber. <laughs> Another weapon. Okay. To Mr. Fernsby's office. Ooh, a circuit breaker power junction box thingy. I need a crowbar for that. Oh, oh no. Is anybody here? Okay, cool. This will work. Fireplace poker. Mansion master key. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Now, what is that? Oh. Ah, that's interesting. Golf club. A list. Okay. We got a journal here, a diary. Zachary's diary. Huh. This is big. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother Montgomery 46 years ago. And apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. And 47, the handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room, proving he didn't write it himself. Painkiller. Lethal if you use enough of them. But not the poison used to kill Zachary. Of course, Madame Carlyle doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame the butler, 47? Mr. Fernsby clearly didn't commit the murder, but I think you have enough evidence to convince Madame Carla he did. Maybe you should tell him you are ready to present your findings. Unless, of course, you want to do some more detecting, 47? Yeah, I might do some more of that. Let's, uh, let's see. Hold on just a second. Three out of three clues found. We still need to... Wait, hold on. Oop. Uh, I want to do this. Wait a minute. What is this? Okay. All right. Um, is there a map here? What is this? Area undiscovered. I don't think there's anything else in the house maybe on the second floor or the third floor so let's go to this area right here oh, we're just gonna run cuz I'm tired of walking find an exit first uh, we need to Okay, where does this go again? Okay, that goes in there. I'm done with that. I don't see anything else. Sprinkler. Madame Carlyle wants to inspect the arrangements for the staged funeral tomorrow. What's the delay? It's birds. They're making a racket, droppings everywhere. The Undertaker wants them gone before he'll see Madame Carlyle. He's in a right state. So, unless you want to take on the birds, I suggest you stay clear of him. Oh, no, my aim's horrible. 
safer for everyone if I just wait here till he says he's... Madame Carlyle is still going ahead with her staged funeral tomorrow, and she wants to inspect the arrangements. How about it, 47? You feel up to giving her the grand tour of her final resting place? Thank you for Madame. Okay, we'll just continue on with the uh, investigation here. Let me just, uh... Don't you look at me like that? This may be any other day for you, but for me, this is highly irregular. I'm just doing my job, sir. You'd think Madame Carlyle would have to be I've never expected to be part of this. Money isn't everything. Oh, what is this? Poison? The water bottle. Get that brick. <laughs> Collect the bricks. Okay, we got a shovel here. Oops, I need to drop down. I'm gonna take this brick. Thank you. It's evidence. <laughs> okay. Another brick. Give me these bricks, man. I want all these bricks. I know I'm not even going to use them, but I want to collect all of them. <laughs> Oops. A rake. Oh. Radio. I hope I die in the autumn. I love autumn funerals. Madam Carlyle isn't dead, so there is no funeral. Not if you ask me. Well... I still think it's going to be a beautiful service. Well, I'm siding with the Undertaker on this one. It's wrong to send him to be dead. Some things you don't mess with. Not even if you're filthy rich. All right, wait, hold on. The graveyard, the garden. What is this? Let's go over there and see if we can uh, solve this mystery. <laughs> It's a game about killing, but I guess we're going to solve this mystery. Wait, hold on just a second. What is this? Ooh, a garden fork. I will keep that. Okay, what is that? That That is... So, Madame Carlyle wants a picture taken. If you were to assist with the missing fuse, I'm sure the portrait would be one for the ages. Okay. Fuse from another fuse box? Uh, I, I, guess I do have that fuse. Good. Look, I'll finish setting up, and then we'll grab the fuse just before you... Have you ever heard of knocking? Oh, no, sorry. You need to leave. All right, all right. Don't get... Don't get so... Uh, Good. I'll finish setting up, and then we'll grab the fuse just before. That's a screwdriver, I think. Good. Yeah, that's a good plan. Wait a minute. What is this? Shears. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that. So many weapons. All right, grab the screwdriver. Thank you very much. So many on call for a pretend funeral. These are extraordinary times at Thornbridge Manor. If they find out how efficient we can be, they'll let half of us go. So don't work too hard, Catherine. No time for jokes. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Wait, I saw something. Oh, it's just water. Okay, yeah. You could poison it, probably. Alright, anything here? Nothing, nothing. Zero, not a... Our 
Oh, oh. Okay, we don't have any keys. Poison the water bottle. No, we don't need to do that. I don't think so. Ah, door's locked. I need to find a way to open it. Hey, a crowbar. I'm going to keep this. Thank you. Oh, another garden fork. Okay. And what is this? This is a branch. Okay, cool. All right. I'll need to find a way inside this uh, garden. I need to get in there. I just do not have... Alright, hold on. No, no, no. You gotta watch out. Never know. Okay. Yeah, he's uh, he's coming to drink his water, right? I'm just uh, standing in front of this door, not doing anything. Admiring the plants. I wonder if uh, he'll hear me picking the lock. Well, I don't want to risk it, though. I'll just wait for him to walk away. I just, you know, relax in here. Yeah, there we go. Just walk away. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Radio. Boat key. Nice. That could be for an escape. I'm pretty sure that is probably. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? It looks like it was recently used, though. I'll take a photo. I need to find my camera. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. This is a table showing lethal dosages for the poison used to kill Zachary. Something is circled, 47. Female, age 65 to 79, 60 to 64 kilograms. I'd say Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, um, the button is in here. I can't bear to think what will happen to all these rare plants now. Oh, come on, Olivia. I understand why you're here. All right, all right. Um, yeah, we still need to investigate the inside, uh, the rooms of the uh, two last suspects. <laughs> I have a wrench. I have a wrench. I can fix this thing. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let's make some poison. Oh, so much poison. Oh, we don't have any flowers left. I thought I had... Th Wait, hold on. I thought I had... Two? No, I had three, right? I had three of those flowers. Whatever. That's fine. That's okay. Okay, now I have poison. <laughs> I have poison. Okay, um, yes. What is this? This is 
A fuse box. Whoa. Excuse me, buddy. All right, well. Break open fuse box. Can this guy see me? Okay. <laughs> I'll take that fuse. I'll take it. All right. Well, you know, oh, there's an axe, uh, a hatchet. Okay. Nope. I'm going to drop that. Uh, rat poison. Nice. Oh. A safe in Madame Carla's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. Mary is so upset, as she's never seen a dead body before. Poor thing. Alexa, back from the dead. A make-believe funeral. A murder mystery. Oh, all too much. They will all need a vacation when this is over. If I pick this up, will they get really suspicious? Seriously, what are you up to, mister? Who is this guy, anyway? Hey, you. You know him. I'm talking to you, sir. what I do? Mister, you will get hurt. Trust me on that one. What's that outfit? Oh, come on. That get-up is not worth it. Oh, I didn't get out. No. <laughs> All right. Where the hell did he go? Well, I kind of blew it. I don't know, man. It's like... Staff key. Oh, no. No sign of him here. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. We're looking clear. There's a target come for us this time. Look alive, gentlemen. Compromised. I ruined things. All right, you know what? We'll be okay. As long as uh, I don't go outside. I think nobody inside will recognize me, right? It's only people outside. That should be okay. I should be okay. Let's just see. I should be fine. Yep. Okay. Good. I'm okay. I'm all right. Okay. 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 All right. All right. So I need to search Zachary's that room. Is the door to Rebecca's room. Okay. Cool. Let's search. Where is the had my gun ready. <laughs> Where is my uh, camera? There we go. Uh, where is 
the evidence. Oops. Oh, come on. Here's my intel. I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9 p.m. to midnight last night. No oh. secret. Okay, cool. And writing does not match. in here no I need it immediately yes I'll hold huh? oh okay not good that was not good that was not good but I'm I'm okay I'm all right I was like I was kind of surprised there sorry about that I am compromised. Bathroom, bathroom. Oh yeah, they they know downstairs. I cannot go down there. <laughs> that is a bad thing. Uh hold on, hold on, just a second. I need to go over here, right? So this way and uh Hello sir. He just clams up when I try to get an explanation. Not even an apology. Wait, hold on. Believing I'm on the dead is exactly how I got it. That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. Okay, what else do I uh oh we got something. What is this? Now this is interesting for you. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. The plot thickens. A keychain pendant for the greenhouse. What's that doing in Emma and Gregory's room, I wonder? And why is the key missing? You have uncovered enough evidence to tell Madame Carlyle that Emma is the murderer. Quite the detective, 47. I'm impressed. I suggest you go tell Mr. Fernsby. I have Unless to tell him. There are more secrets to uncover. Wait, I'm not done. I must explore more. There is a photo op here. Uh, where's my camera? There it is. over here oh choose scanned okay uh let's see one more area is that one Where are we going here? This way. So I think, uh, yeah, what you said. Nope, that's not it. No, wait a minute. What is that? 
I see something over there. I don't know what that is. This one right here. Area undiscovered. Uh, you know what? We've been uh, playing this for too long. Well, let's, uh, let's see. Where is the butler? I need to find the butler. Mr. Fernsby. Where are you? Oh, he's downstairs. No, that's not good. Oh, no. Okay. Um, hopefully I don't run into anybody down here. That would be pretty bad. I am ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carlyle. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. Looking good today, sir. I wish these guys would walk faster. <laughs> This is Madame Carlyle's office. Please step inside. Your detective skills have gained you access to the lion's den, 47. Now, go claim your reward. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. Please, go ahead. Your niece, Emma Carlyle, murdered your brother, Zachary. My niece? Emma is not my niece. She's my daughter-in-law. And your niece. Emma is the illegitimate child of your late older brother, Montgomery, who you and Zachary killed 46 years ago. That's preposterous. You asked me to find out what happened to Zachary. Would you rather not know? No. No, go on. I found a letter from Emma's mother, Jane, who was the fiancé of your older brother at the time of his death. She witnessed how you and Zachary pushed him off the balcony. She believed you did it to steal the Carlisle Empire from her and her unborn child. And she raised Emma to reclaim what she lost. Marry your heir, Gregory, get revenge, and secure the Carlisle Empire for her bloodline generations to come. Emma is the daughter of Montgomery and that local girl, Jane. She is. Well, the girl got it wrong. I didn't steal anything. I did what was necessary to protect the future of the Carlisles. Montgomery wasn't cut out to take over from father. All heart and no balls. Emma used the funeral gallery to speed up her installment as the lady of the house, seizing the opportunity to stage Zachary's suicide. She did her homework, used the poison one of Zachary's rare plants, found old floor plans from Thornbridge Manor to gain access to his room through a secret passage. That scheming bitch. More than you think. I found proof that she will try to poison you next. Well, I'll have to take care of that. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. You have not disappointed. I promised you I would reward you generously if you solved the case. So, what do you suggest? I want the file you have on Arthur Edwards. Edwards, the constant. But how do you... Oh, I see. 
I expected you might show up, but to kill me, not help me. But I've been wrong on so many things lately, so why not this one? I will give you the file on Edwards. You've earned it. I don't suppose I could convince you to deal with my daughter-in-law now you're here. I would like to see her dead. No? What a shame. I'll have to see to it some other way then. need some privacy. Thank you. How are you? Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Okay, they just let me go through? Mission complete. Well done, 47. <laughs> okay. That worked. Uh, there's nothing here I can take, right? Uh, well, you know what? This, um, this video has gone on for too long, so I, I better finish this. Let's just get out of here now. But that was a long, long process. Which is, you know, I mean... Uh, not, not bad. That's actually uh, pretty involved. Usually you just go in and shoot them in the face or something, or push them off. But that was a uh, pretty, uh, that was a pretty involved uh, little mission strand there. I need to get out of here. But how? I am compromised, so I need to let's uh I actually uh need to find out where that uh Okay, um uh, they're coming up here. I need to find the actual room. Uh, here we go. There we go. Let's just get our bodyguard disguise and let's just go and get out of here. Um, there was a pipe here, right? Somewhere. Oh, ah, uh, yeah, yes. Yes, sirree. Let's just get down here. Let's get down. And you know what? Where's the boat exit? I have a boat key. Exit, exit. Where are the exits? Wait. Hmm. I have a boat key, but whatever. That's fine. Let's just get out of here. There's only one exit, I think. Oops. Hello, everybody. People were suspicious of me. <laughs> I'm just a normal security guard. Gonna waltz out of here. Was still alive, and she didn't even see it herself. It was burned through and told her. I can believe that. What a surprise. I mean, I've already lost my silent assassin status, so. <laughs> okay, there we go. 
Yeah, I mean, I already lost Silent Assassin. Whatever. Let's just uh, get at least one kill. 47. They're everywhere. Go, get out. It's the Constantine. Shit. Well, damn, that uh, that actually took a long time. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's not a bad thing. Well, unless you're watching a YouTube video. It probably was a pretty bad thing. Maybe I should have been faster. But I wanted to explore it. And I did. And it was pretty cool. But that was only one of the, uh, I think, three mission... Um, I forgot what they're called now. <laughs> mission... Um, uh, things that you can get so yeah wow all right <laughs> two stars whatever i'll just uh replay this one later on and uh let me just see what kind of a uh, mastery i've got mark three bathroom deliveries garden Take us all on? Don't. Yeah! Tell the Constant to start running! You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I look forward to your call. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. left now. Okay. There we go. We did it. Second mission. That was pretty long, like I said, but, uh, I mean, you know, that <laughs> it's, uh, I think that was just probably me, but uh, I could have done that a little faster, but whatever. I wanted to enjoy the game, and uh, I am. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry if it's a little too long for you guys, but, uh, you know, I try to explore everything. But, uh, yeah, uh, since this is, a, this is a very long video, I'm going to... That's about it for today, and uh, I will see you guys next time.